Uh, this is just going to be a quick video showing you the introduction of what we're going to cover on the early stage of this project. I'd like to point out that this is really not a step-by-step -step tutorial, though you're going to see how I went about making this. Uh, caution you that I'm not in the default Moto interface. I'm using a modified Zen interface uh, that's built by Adam O'Hearn over at Mechanical Color. I've taken this and I've done some things that suit my own workflow and you're going to have to just bear through that. But the main project is going to be showing you how this ball and this eyeball is made. We'll make the eyeball, make the lid, and I think in the same project we'll probably do some of the weight mapping and UVing, or UVing then the weight mapping. Uh, I think those three will be in the first project, maybe not all in the same video, they'll be shorter ones. and then. From this eyeball, we end up taking it over to, let me see, I think it's this one. It would be something very similar to this, where we take that one eye and we throw some deformers on it, mainly this lattice deformer that you see here. And let me see, let me get all of those. You see this here, right? Uh, I think I got that hooked up. Yeah, maybe I do, maybe I don't. Yeah. Uh, we'll have these things going up in here. Those are some of the basic ones. This isn't too hard. Uh, let me see, make sure we've got... I'll show you the, some of the weight map. Oh, do I have this? Let me see, go back to uh, default. Uh, we'll set these weight maps in the other project while we're building the ball. Uh, there's the top and the bottom. Then from here, we end up duplicating this and then reconnecting everything. Then we'll slide it into place into William Vaughn's basic head model that he made available. Got some really great edge loops. We'll uh, do some basic polygon modeling on this and just moving points and things around to make a good head. And from there, we go to where's this one? I think it's this one. From there, will end up being somewhere over here. We duplicated those eyeballs, added up our deformers, and uh, let's see, from over here should be, we'll start seeing, we'll do some of this. All right. The modeling of the head will entail getting everything shaped up to fit the eyeballs real nice. I'll get a mouth in here, I'll put a mouth sack in there. I think. I think I'll put the mouth sack in. Uh, we may not get that involved. But it's mainly about just getting this base head and being ready for getting kind of deformer fun. I think I got these hooked up. Right? All of this works. And the side note at the end of this, as we get a little bit more involved, you see this weight container. I'll get this in here so you can kind of see what's happening. Uh, let's see. There's the transformer. All of that weight on this one transformer is moving all that stuff in unison. All right. That's just the transform right here. Uh, you get real crazy with some of this. It gives you a lot of variation in what you end up making. see if I wanted to make the eyeballs even taller and stretchier. You can get a little bit crazy with it. But uh, the neat thing is this stuff all still works. Uh, within reason. We gotta uh, kind of got to be careful how much torquing and how much stuff you want to do. Uh, the more you work with your weight maps, the more control you'll end up having without having to get a bunch of pinching in. You can see some of it right there, so you got to be a little careful. But uh, all of that project is going to start at that eyeball, build into the uh, deformers, duplicate the deformers, uh, put them into position, model this head a little bit. Don't have to do too much on it, but it'll be fun, fun little modeling project. And then from here, we'll take this thing, send it over to ZBrush, do some uh, detailed uh, sculpting, work out our maps from there. 
bring it all back into modal to make it all pretty. At least that's the plan. I think. Uh, one more little toy play. I don't know. I like this right here. You can really get crazy. And again, all those deformers work because of the order of operation. Right? One feeds into the other, which feeds into the other, which feeds into the other. Uh, even the rotations work. Though not as useful. They'd be really subtle things for characters. But mainly the transform... Uh, this is the translation and uh, scaling is the big are the big ones I think. Really give you a lot of fun to have with a character. But anyway, that's kind of where we're going. And to close these all down. Remember, we're we're going to start about here. Right? Build the eye, build the lid, cut out the polys, try to make everything nice and straight and smooth. We'll work on this. I've got this worked out. It almost works perfectly. I guess the more time we want to spend on it. And again, remember it's not a tutorial per se. It's a step-by-step -step, do this, do that, do that, do this. Uh, it's just showing you how uh, a project can flow. Right? We'll all be doing most of all the work in the Zen interface here. It's a modified one that I did on my own, but it's still uh, the work of uh, Adam O'Hearn.